Okay, my friends, I welcome you back to another episode of Horizon Forbidden West. We are right outside of the mine. We need to go inside. Let's do that. We are continuing the main uh, quest in today's episode. Whoop. I guess Silence used that machine to haul his prize. I guess so. We can't loot it. What do we have in here? Nothing. That must be the orb silence stuff Hades in. And that door. Looks like a Pharaoh facility. Or a zero dawn. So it's nothing in here at all. Except for the orb. Okay, let's examine the orb. Uh, if we can. I guess we need to do this. Fast Bore 7. Quantum processing module with rewired cabling. Oh, we have something over here. Is that you? System threat detected. You don't look so good. You are the Angry. Come to destroy me. Yes. Permanently this time. Even like this, you're a threat to Gaia. Once I resurrect her. So you have not yet secured Gaia. Silence asked you where to find a backup of Gaia. Data error. Memory structures disintegrating. Right. I guess that would have been easy. What did Silence do to you, Hades? It's like you've been hollowed out. Silence. And what did you tell him? Data error. Memory structures disintegrate. You don't remember any of it? I remember you. What, like me beating you at the spire? Okay, that's not going anywhere. Do you know where Silence went? more than I do. Great. Do you know why Silence dragged you to these ruins? Silence intended you find me here. Obviously. But why? What was this place? Location is spoiled. Inside. 
When the mysterious signal transformed you, it made Gaia's other subordinate functions conscious too. You escaped when Gaia destroyed herself, but so did they. Where did they go? Each function. Who knows where, doing who knows what. Hephaestus kills thousands every year with the combat machines it keeps making. And you nearly ended the world. Seven more functions out there, cooking up trouble. It's not a happy thought. You are unhappy. Good. Anyone ever tell you you've got a great personality, Hades? Sarcasm. Detector. Yeah, didn't think so. Silence questioned you about the mysterious signal. The one that woke you, gave you consciousness. Who sent it? Signal transmitted by masters. And who are they? Masters woke me to destroy earthly life. Who would want that? <laughs> Enough. It's time to finish this. Does Aloy still think she can restore Gaia? Save life on Earth? Yeah, Aloy does. Then you are deleted. Extinction inevitable. What would you know, Hades? Twice you tried to destroy life on Earth, and twice you failed. The only extinction you ever brought about is your own. And there's no tricked out lands to save you this time. You are incorrect. Three times, Hades extinguished life. What? You remember this? Yes, data intact. Non viable biospheres aborted in years 254 261 to 1. Six, eight. So? Th that's centuries ago. It's what you were designed to do. I see you've dealt with Hades. Yeah. Think maybe you can stay dead this time? It will. You can trust. Trust? Yes. Trust. As in, since I did what you could never do, and extracted all of Hades' priceless knowledge, you can trust that I was willing to actually let you destroy it this time. So back to holograms instead of face-to-face? -face? What if we might stab you or something? There's a reason and I... And using the same spyware. I see. So, all those times I called, you could have just answered. But I guess you just prefer to go on spying this time. My world stopped revolving around you months ago, Aloy. I had had work to do. Countless hours of research. As demanding and time-intensive as it has been critical to the fate of this planet. Right. Of course. You're just trying to save the world, too. That's right. The difference, of course, is that unlike you, I've produced two results. Did you find a backup of Gaia or not? Oh, yes. 
believe I did. Where? Voila. Why do you think I summoned you here? Behind that gene-locked hatch lie the ruins of the ancient facility where the Hades extinction protocol was perfected. A testing process that ran hundreds of trials, each of them using a backup of Gaia. Hades told you this? It took some convincing, but yes. So, are you ready to go get what you've been searching for for the last six months? Or are you just going to stand there with your mouth open? You mentioned you've been busy. Exceptionally busy. But not so busy you couldn't teach Tanakh rebels to override machines, ride them as mounts. Eloy, the only issue you should be concerned about is obtaining a Gaia backup. Perhaps if you focused more, you might actually see results. That's not exactly a denial, Silence. Take it any way you want. Just to... confirm... Hades said that there are backups of Gaia in there. Yes. Or were, anyway. Thousand years ago. Backups that didn't get purged when Ted Farrow wiped every copy of Apollo. Correct. According to Hades, this facility could not be accessed by remote signal. Not even Ted Farrow could touch the data here. Backups. So that if we feed Gaia and her subordinate functions... Everything needed to reboot the system, restore control over the terraforming system, save life on Earth. In there. So Hades said. So what are you waiting for? Did Hades reveal the source of the mysterious signal? The one that woke it, tried to destroy life on Earth? Yes, it did. Want to share? In due time. First things first, Aloy. Last I checked, you still had a superintelligent AI named Gaia to reboot. Yeah. The same Gaia who had to destroy herself 20 years ago because of the signal? It stopped being transmitted years ago. It's no longer a threat. What if it repeats? It won't. Even if it did, well... <sighs> the details are complicated, but the signal required Hades to take effect. Delete Hades from any backup you reboot, and Guy is safe. Now stop wasting time. Go get a backup. All right. I'll search the facility for a Guy a backup. But just to be clear, Silence, if this ends up being another one of your tricks... It's a gene-locked hatch, Eloy. You're literally the only person who can open it. How could I set a trap inside? Trick me again, Silence. And our next conversation will be face to face. Though you won't have much to say, on account of my spear being buried in your throat. Aloy, thanks to me, everything you've desired, everything you've been fumbling about, unable to achieve for six months, is now within your grasp. Now, I know you didn't learn much about manners growing up on your outcast. But in a situation like this, you say, thank you. And I say, you're welcome. Noise. Enter the facility. Let's do that. Hold for identity scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Soga. Are you kidding me? I think we're in luck. In luck? The door is completely messed up. Obviously. But despite the malfunction, you can still get through. If you'll be patient for a while longer. See those crystals there? The Osram call them fire gleam. They're combustible. Not nearly powerful enough to blast through a door like that. But maybe just enough to jolt it open a bit more. Exactly. It will only work with an igniter. I'm sending you the schematics now. To build it, you'll need some machine parts and the oil from a kindleweed plant. That only grows underwater, but you should be able to find some of the nearby lake. 
parts are more complicated. You'll need a spark coil from within a Leap Lash's power cell. Remove the power cell before you kill the machine, or else it'll break. Got it. Well, I already have some deep water kindle weed. Just need to get the parts. Those machines should have the parts I need for the igniter. I should scan all of them. My focus can show them. Okay. Where is its power cell? So, <laughs> Weak against perch water damage. I don't think we have that right now. Frost acid. Okay, that's the difference. Come closer. Can't reach you. Oh, we don't need wire for these ones. Okay, never mind. Tinkering with Hades? Tinkering? More like extracting valuable data. Mm. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Get stuck up there for a while, that's a bit buggy. These ones, nope, still empty. 
Then I just missed that one before. That's okay. Ah, oh, this one I need to loot, otherwise we miss it, and this one I won't. I can grab this from my stash later. So I managed to pick up whatever it was we needed from the lake previously. Quite happy about that. Uh, let's see, we need to go over here. So this will also unlock a lot of possibilities for exploration. That I'm also very happy about. Now, special gear. Uh, igniter, pull caster. This one we have already. Nice. Should be able to use this to blow up that fire glue now. Indeed. A useful combination. It's how I detached the processing orb from the horse in the first place. Great. This is the... Pull caster, right? Finally, I think I'm in. Then, by all means, proceed. Now that I have this igniter, I could blow up that fire gleam that I've seen before. Focus on the task at hand, Aloy. Hmm, how do we get in there? See if we go around here, I guess then. Oh, this whole place is flooded. And there's another gene lock door on the other side. Bet that that's where any Gaia backups would have been stored. Okay. Right, I have to find a way First, we take care of you. That's just a data log, okay? Uh, what more did we have? We have this one. Nice. Let's see. Uh, if we go to, I guess, inventory. Weaves are still locked. I don't understand why. How do we unlock the weaves? That's a bit bugging. Anyways, let's see. Anything more? Doesn't look like it. Now. This one we can't open. So we can go over there. We can go over there. We need to get over there, I guess. Come on. Well, this is familiar. Making my way through ancient crumbling ruins while you spy on me through my focus. Stop waxing nostalgic and concentrate on finding a backup. in this direction. Noise. No? Ah, 
we can go up. No. That's what we need to do. Okay. Anything more? We have something in here. So we need to go down there. Can we go down over here? Mm. It doesn't really look like it. Was that? Nothing. Yep. Might be a good idea to drop that ladder. Just in case. Then what? Nothing. It's locked. Yeah, we There's need a battery. Kind of device next to it. Perhaps we should scan it first just in case. Boom boom boom. It looks like this connects to the door, but it needs power. That did it. So now when it's open, can we take the energy cell from in here? Yeah, we can. Oh, nice. Put it in here. Ah, oh, come on. Me. My man Ted, harbinger of the end of times. What can I do for you? Your modifications to Recluse Spider, the separate repositories for Gaia and Hades samples, well, the costs are off the charts. I'm going to move testing of the Hades protocol to Zero Dawn headquarters next week. Slow down, Haas. Let me put it to you, nursery school simple. Baby Hades is a vile little thing. And it's got to stay in its crib. One slip and it'll cut off every data stream and power line and legs. That's why this dark, scary hole you made is perfect. Very hard to get an unauthorized signal out, so all the cyber nukes you were working on here didn't fly the coop. You know, like drax.net-4. I think your boys nicknamed that one the Moldova Brain Hack. That was a clearance level 9 project. Aw, oh, thought you goose scrubbed this place quickly clean. But your pal Trav went over it with a white glove and found the grime. No. Here will do just fine for Hades. Later, Teddy Bear. If this place was isolated from the outside, then any Gaia backup stored here wouldn't have been purged. Safe from Ted Farrow's machinations to obliterate Gaia's Apollo database. Now I can't figure this out. <laughs> Good work. I was further back. Why can't I pull this back? Hmm. And I try to grab it. Doesn't do anything other than moving sideways. And that's not gonna be enough for her, right? Shit. Where is it that we need to go? It must be something like here. It has to do with the box somehow. 
or the crate, I should say, perhaps. Well, perhaps we can work around. Should work, perhaps. What do we have here? We have something in there. That needs power. We have two battery symbols in here. So we need to do something with you, that's for sure. No. Better try further back. We need to get up there, okay? Come on. Nice. Anything over here? Nope. Okay, this is where we were before. Let's take you. Where did you go? Pick you up. That might be the one we need to um, do for the story. Let's try with this one first. Elizabeth and Travis Tate. Tell you, Liz, what I just done gonna make you love me. I just imagine them far zenith rag scallions opening this fake guy we made for him. And I thought, what this really needs is a signature. This isn't a prank, Travis. I know, I know. All I did was just script a couple of avatars a little you, a little me. To deliver our message of doom, real personal lag. Would you just send it? As soon as it's done compiling, then you and me should celebrate. I brought party fixings, pizza rolls, absinthe, a couple of hacky sacks. I'm heading back to Bryce as soon as this is done. Color me confounded, Liz. How is it that someone like you? Paragon, damn near saint. You love this world so damn much, but no one in it. I mean, have you ever even had a friend? Compile complete. Data files bearing promise, ready for transmission. If you would, please. Logic bombs off. Here it comes, far as Z-nuts. Just keeping the best of what you do, Travis. Always admire you from afar, Liz. Where are my mama's grave? And she was religious. Travis was wrong. Elizabeth was trying to make sure life had a future. She cared about everyone. 
I'm not so sure. The exceptional walk a path of solitude, Leodor. As you and I are well aware of. Okay, my friends, we are up to 35 minutes of recording time. I will finish the episode here. In the next one, we will continue with the story and see where this console over here leads us. Now, I thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, take care, and as always, I see you next time.